I'm Jonah Casebeer, a PhD candidate in the computer science department at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. This research work was done with Nick Bryant at Adobe Research and Paris Margus, my advisor. It's titled Auto DSP, Learning to Optimize Acoustic Echo Cancelers. Adaptive filtering algorithms are everywhere in audio processing. They have applications from echo cancellation to system identification, reverberation, source separation, noise cancellation, and more. They have uses in basically every multimedia system. At their core, adaptive filtering algorithms are made up of a model, the adaptive filter, which is typically some sort of linear filter, and the optimizer, which is typically some sort of derived or otherwise configured LMS, NMLS, RLS, or other gradient-based update. Typically, we can think of this model as being learned and that we fit it to some incoming data stream. Whereas the optimizer is not learned, it's developed and derived ahead of time in order to fit the model. In this work, our goal is to make the optimizer learnable so that instead of deriving or developing an optimizer for a particular kind of scene, we could learn an optimizer that would be optimal for some sort of adaptive filtering task. We call this approach auto DSP. We're inspired by auto ML. The idea that you can automate machine learning model development. In machine learning model development, it's typically very difficult to pick which model to use, whereas it's easier to pick which optimizer to use. An example of this is it's difficult to pick a deep learning model architecture. You can often use some optimizer like Atom and get good performance. In Auto DSP, we're looking to automate DSP optimizer development. This is because for DSP problems, it's typically very difficult to pick which optimizer to use, as the same optimizer can lead to solutions for different tasks. For example, using a simple linear filter, you could produce both beamformers, deer reverberators, and source separators. We focus on adaptive and online optimization, since those are core problems to DSP. So then the question is, how do we learn these online optimization algorithms? Let's start with a simple example. Suppose we have some input X and we apply a linear filter to it, W, to produce some estimate Y. If we wanted to update our filter W, we could use some sort of a gradient-based update rule, say LMS, and multiply our gradient by some step size mu. We could iterate this procedure and produce a whole series of estimates for our filter value across time. Though picking this mu parameter on its own isn't straightforward and is actually a somewhat nuanced problem. It's even more complicated since we often operate in the frequency domain where optimizers can have perverse dynamics. We propose to replace this mu or any other sort of function of the gradient in the optimization set with a learned function G parameterized by some parameters phi. Often we're going to use something like an R net here. It turns out you can train something like this fairly simply by noticing that usually the adaptive filters are differentiable, so we can differentiate across them, connecting from the adaptive filter loss back to our parameters phi within the network G. We can simply perform backprop through time to train our neural network parameters. In effect, by following a procedure like this, we're able to get adaptive filter optimizers, which are custom trained to specialize on a particular kind of data. We don't use any additional ground truth signals or labels since our optimizers are using the loss implicitly defined by the adaptive filter. And we perform next to no manual intervention since we use the adaptive filtering setup that was already in place. In effect, custom data sets in order to deploy the solution, not needed. Hand-derived gradients in order to get a better optimizer, not required either. And any sort of hand-derived optimizer setup isn't used in this setup either. Going to the particular task that we're going to demo auto DSP on, uh, acoustic echo cancellation. In acoustic echo cancellation, we're interested in taking a speaker and a microphone in a room and removing any of the effects of the speaker from that microphone. Typically, that speaker is called the far end, 
and we recorded the microphone is called the near end. We're interested in removing the far end echo from the near end. This is usually done with some sort of optimization scheme that fits a, fits a filter to mimic that transfer function across time. <clears throat> We're gonna benchmark our auto DSP solution and try to automatically learn an optimization algorithm for this task. We're gonna structure our optimizer to be agnostic of the filter structure. The idea here is that our optimizer is gonna operate on each element of the filter independently. So if the filter has M parameters, we're gonna run M copies of our optimizer in parallel. Those copies are gonna share parameters, but they're gonna use a different set of hidden states so that each of the parameters have a different optimizer dynamic. Our optimizer in particular is going to be composed of a simple feature extraction step, a log magnitude feature extraction step to approximately white in the input gradients, a dense layer, two GRU layers, and another dense layer. Note that for all of these, we actually have a have complex values inside this network. So we have complex activation functions and a complex GRU formulation. We do this since the filters we operate on can be complex values. We evaluate our optimization structure on filters that have both time domain FIR structure, frequency domain block processing, where we use overlap save, uh, multi-delay filters, and multi-delay filters with parametric nonlinearities. We evaluate all these filters on the Microsoft Acoustic Echo Cancellation dataset. We focus on scenes with only single talk, but we evaluate on both linear scenes and nonlinear scenes as well as train on linear and nonlinear scenes. To train our models, we take 10 second clips and use a fixed transfer function. Then at test time, we experiment with 20 second long clips where the transfer function between the far end and the near end changes partway through the clip. We benchmark our model against three baselines, two, uh, relatively simple optimizers, RMS prop and block normalized LMS, where we've grid search tuned the parameters of these optimizers on the validation set. Then we also use the speaks op, the speaks acoustic echo canceller in its default configuration. We can see performance here in the linear scenes and nonlinear scenes. The auto DSP learned optimizer typically outperforms the other optimizers, not just in early convergence, but also after the scene change, which is particularly surprising since the auto DSP optimizer was never trained on scene changes, but it still displays remarkable optimization dynamics after them. What's particularly exciting about this auto DSP optimizer is that it remains competitive in terms of complexity and is still simple to implement. In particular, Using a consumer CPU, we can operate in faster than real time on a single core with a real time factor of about 0.36 and a real time factor of about 0.13 in the multi core scenario. We're consuming about 240 mega multiply accumulates per frame. The model's very small, it's less than 120 kilobytes in size using some 15K complex value parameters. And these numbers are all actually from a pure Python implementation using the JAX framework, which has complex auto differentiation built in, automatic vectorization built in, and just in time compilation, and enabled a lot of this research. In effect, what we're proposing here is a way to automatically learn adaptive filter optimizers. We're able to build data driven update rules which converge quickly are robust to scene changes unencountered in training. They outperform hand-tuned update rules. They work with the near arbitrary filter structure and are extremely computationally efficient. You can find our project website at this URL where we have our code along with a set of demos if you care to check them out. Thank you and have a good one.